we've got a brand new feature that we were going to play um, on the Friday Night Lounge uh, this week, which is uh, the theatre previews, where uh, we'll be looking at uh, the Carnegie Hall and Alhambra shows that are coming up throughout uh, the next month. And uh, we're going to start off uh, this week with uh, the Carnegie Hall in our very first theatre preview with them. And I was joined by the theatre manager, Verdi Clark, as we looked at the Carnegie shows that are coming your way this April. Verdi, welcome to the Friday Night Lounge. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot, Matthew. Thanks very much. Uh, so a lot of um, musical concerts that are com really coming up, and I think one of them that uh, I think uh, a lot of the uh, listeners will be interested in is uh, Roller Mania that's coming up on the 1st of April. Yes, uh -huh, and uh, that's not actually uh, an April Fool. That is a real event that's happening with the legendary Les McEwen. Um, he is one of the founder members of the Bay City Rollers um, and will be with us in Carnegie Hall on uh, Friday. Uh, tickets are £18.50 and there are a few left, um, but it's selling really, really well. Um, Les has been with us once before um, and uh, that worked absolutely brilliantly. He does all the hits of the Bay City Rollers with his live band um, and uh, yeah, so if you get a chance you should come along and see him. I think what's interesting about this one is that we get to see uh, some of the influences that really influenced uh, his work in the Bay City Rollers and uh, just reflecting on his time as a, as a pop superstar. I think that's, that's what's really interesting about this as well is that he talks to the audience a lot and talks about his life um, and talks about the many interesting twists and turns that it, that it has actually taken and like you say the influences that, that actually created some of the most memorable rock songs the, that people people know. So if you like a bit of your shang uh Summer Love Sensation and Bye Bye Baby, it's uh, 1st of April, 7.30, £18.50. That's it, and remember your tartan scarf. Remember your tartan scarf, it's always needed, <laughs> that sort of thing. <laughs> uh, so you might remember five years ago that uh, this, this certain singer said, I wish I was a punk rocker, but uh, she's been out of the musical spotlight uh, recently in the, in the media, but uh, she has been busy, and uh, this is part of our latest stop in her UK tour, I believe. Yes, that's correct. Uh, we're very proud to be hosting Sandy Tom, um, who will be with us on Thursday, the 21st of April. Now, uh, Sandy, as you're saying, Matthew, has been out of um, the, the limelight for a while, but that doesn't mean she's to say she hasn't been working. She's been touring constantly. She's done a lot of uh, work within the, the club scenes as well, um, and we are delighted to host her back again. This is the second time that she's been with us at Carnegie Hall. Um, and if you book before the 15th of April, you get an early bird ticket price of £12.50. I believe it's fifteen pounds after that, and um, I think some. I think this this um, gig that she's going to do at the at the Carnegie Hall it's quite interesting because it's also a bit of a ruthless pr promotional tool. Uh, she'll be playing songs from her new album Merchants and Thieves, and I believe she does. She shows a bit of experimentation with some other uh, musical genres that uh, we may not be uh, normally associating with Sandy. Yes, um, she she's taken kind of. Um, a, um, South American themes um, and she's she's really just tried to experiment and extend the the repertoire that she's uh, that she started with a lot of acoustic w uh, work will be happening um, and again a lot of stuff that she writes herself which is just excellent if you want to go and see Sandy Tom it's uh, the 21st of April uh, 7 uh, 30 p.m. start if you book before the 15th of March you get 12 pounds 50 uh, for the tickets and if you're well pretty much after that then it's about 15 pounds after so Third, third uh, musical concert, uh, I have to say, is another interesting one. He's uh, quite prominent, if you know uh, solo jazz guitar, Martin Taylor with Alison Burns. So could you just uh, tell us a little bit more about that one? Yes, of course. Uh, again, terribly proud to be able to present Martin Taylor with Alison Burns. And as you're saying, Matthew, if you know your jazz guitar, or if you know your guitar at all, you will know Martin Taylor. Uh, world-renowned, award-winning, um, and he's coming to Carnegie Hall on Saturday the 23rd of April 
uh, and tickets for him are £14. Really book your seats because they're selling really, really fast. This will be an opportunity to see a once-in-a-lifetime performance. And I suppose if, you, if you're not too familiar with ja uh, jazz music uh, at all, I think it would be a good introduction to uh, the jazz genre. Fantastic introduction. You don't, I mean, I know a lot of people might think, oh, jazz, not sure if I'm interested. Come along and just see the technical abilities of this man. And whether you're a guitarist or not, he will blow you away. So that's uh, 23rd of uh, April, 7.30pm, and tickets cost £14. Now let's just uh, quickly look over some of the other uh, events that are going on at uh, the, the Carnegie Hall over uh, April. Now, this April is uh, the Puppet Animation Festival, which has been running since 1984 at the Netherbow Arts Centre in Edinburgh. And it's really celebrating the, um, the works of uh, puppetry and uh, entertaining children with uh, vivid imaginations. And this one uh, I'm looking at here just now, uh, I think this has also got a bit of a political point as well. Uh, that's rubbish. I suppose that describes my show as well, I suppose. Um, but uh, this this has a serious point as well as being uh, entertaining and imaginative uh, for the kids. Yes, that's correct. Uh, Puppet Animation Festival is a national uh, event that we, we eagerly get involved with every year. Um, and uh, Dragonfly Dreaming Theatre um, is a puppet company um, that are producing That's Rubbish. And yes, it's about the environment and it is aimed at children between the ages of three right up to 11. So if you want to come along and get a bit of um, information about how to save your environment, look after your environment and you're very little, this is, this is the show for you. That's Rubbish. Uh, that will be on uh, Tuesday, 5th of April, 10.30am start. £4 tickets for adults and £3 for concessions or £12 for the family. Uh, we've also got uh, Circus Invis Invisible, which uh, has a troop of invisible animals. Now, when I first read that, I was thinking, how could, how could it be puppetry if you can't see the animals? Ah, well, that's what's very clever about it, because you can see the, the, the um, implements that they're playing with, the toys that they've got. You can see them moving. But I, I tell you, by the end of this performance, you will see those animals. You will believe that they are there. Lots and lots of characters for the children to identify with, to, to learn to love um, and appreciate. And again, another, another opportunity. Now, this is for four plus, so slightly older, um, because there is a huge dealing with the people's imagine, children's imagination and how that develops. Uh, but again, that's Thursday, the 7th of April. It's a half past 10 performance. Same prices, four pounds, three pounds concession and 12 pounds for the family. And the third, third and final one uh, for the Pu Public Animation Festival is, uh, I suppose it's more of a, a fantasy sort of uh, puppet show, Cloud Man. Could you just tell us a little bit more about that one? Yes, this is by the wonderful puppeteer Ailey Cohen, um, Cloud Man. Um, he goes on amazing journeys um, and he's only about two and a half inches tall. Um, and he lives in the clouds. Now, Ailey is an award-winning puppeteer, and we are actually, as part of the Arts and Theatres Trust Fife, in co-production with Ailey at the moment, um, as she is relaunching Cloud Man. Um, so we are uh, co-producing with her. So come and see Cloud Man. It's ages five to seven plus. Same prices, Friday the 18th of April at half past ten. But Cloud Man will be coming back again to um, a theatre near you in the very near future. And that's just some of the shows that you can uh, see at the Carnegie Hall uh, this April. Uh, if you want to book uh, tickets, uh, what is the number to call? 01383 602 302. Verdi Clark, thanks very much for coming along. Thank you very much. Thanks, Matthew. Uh, that was the uh, theatre manager of the Carnegie Hall, Verdi Clark. And if you want to book tickets for any of the shows that we have discussed just now, or for anything else, uh, you can call the box office on 01383 602 302, or head over to their website at www.att5.org.uk. Now let's get a preview of April shows in Alhambra Theatre, and David Fortune did that earlier this week with Claire Fletcher. So it's just coming up for half past two. Time now to chat to Claire at the Alhambra. Good afternoon, Claire. How are you? I'm good, thanks, David. How are you? Not bad at all, not bad at all. Well, it looks like there's loads going on down at the Alhambra once again. Um, what's coming up this month? Um, this month, well, at three, we've had, um, recently we've had the ballet, Moscow Ballet. Mm -hmm. Capelia was on Saturday night, um, which was a huge success. 
And on Sunday night, we showed um, the first in our cinema screening season, um, and it was the King's Speech. So we had that on Sunday night, and um, it was very, um, very historical value there because um, King George VI actually spoke on stage mm-hmm. at the Alhambra back in 1928. Ah, you learn something new every so, day. Yeah, absolutely. So there's a huge sort of historical links there. So, so we had a, a mini exhibition just showing some of the you know, previous royal visits, um, and we were lucky to be. Um, we had Lord and Lady Elgin um, in attendance. Wow. And we also had Margaret Dean, the Lord Lieutenant of Fife, there. So it was a very good turnout, so we're very pleased with that one. And I see on the 27th of March you've got Andy Parsons as well. Yes, that's right, yes. We're lucky to have Andy coming along on the 27th, so we're all very excited about that one. And so, um, he's our first in a sort of lineup of comedians. So we've got Andy on the 27th, and we've got Lenny Henry on the 22nd of April, and then we've got Ed Byrne coming back on the 27th of April. So it's, um, it's quite a busy time for comedians. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. No, you're getting some really big names at the Alhambra now. The other things that are happening in April, uh, what's going on? In April, well, we um, have the Fife Strathspey Real Society um, early on in the month. So that's on the 2nd of April. And then on the 6th of April, we have the um, Bombay Bellywood, and it's um, sort of Bollywood dancing. Sort of belly yeah, that dancing. sounds like a lot of fun. Are you getting involved uh, yourself, Claire? No, 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 I'll uh, <laughs> watch that one from the sidelines, I think. <laughs> it looks like a lot of fun, and they're supposed to be fantastic. They're supposed to be the sort of best in, in their league, if you like. So um, that's a huge demand for that one at the moment. And certainly, you know, the biggie for us, I think, coming up in, in May is, is Thriller Live. Um, we've got that running in the theatre between the 23rd and 25th of May. And so, so we're getting geared up for that one at the moment. Claire, which one are you looking forward to the most? Probably, probably Thriller Live. I think I'm a huge Michael Jackson fan, so I think to uh, be right up my street, Thriller Live. I think it's, um, it's supposed to be fantastic, and it's uh, the the version of the the West End show. So, so really looking forward to that one. So, excuse my ignorance, Claire. Who who's actually playing Michael Jackson in that one? Well, it's not not so much that someone's actually played Michael Jackson. It's basically it's like a concert spectacular, um, sort of if you like recreating you know his life. So it's you know so early years through the Jackson Five, um, and then his later years. So so there's no not a specific person as such playing Michael Jackson, but it's more that it's a dance spectacular. So there could be several people playing you know the part. Um, so it's that, that's how it works, and it's sort of through the the, the ages. Excellent, Claire. Thank you very much for coming on to Radio West Fife this no, afternoon for a wee welcome. blether. And it's uh, ticketmaster.co.uk and alhambradunfermline.com, isn't exactly, it? Exactly, that's right, yes. That was Claire Fletcher uh, of the Alhambra Theatre talking to David Fortune uh, this Tuesday. And you can listen to David Fortune uh, every first Tuesday to get a preview of the Alhambra Theatre between 1 and 3 o'clock on your number one station, Radio West Fife. And you can also listen to the preview of uh, the Carnegie Hall every first Friday with myself, Matthew Hansen, between 9 and 11 on the Friday Night Lounge on your number one station. And the theatre previews are also available on uh, youtube.com forward slash Radio West 51 and on our Best Bits netcast at fridaynightlounge.podbean.com.